today, my group mates and I are going to review a movie called Melo vs Raja Wali and relate it to the uncertainty reduction theory. Before we start, you may be asked yourself, what is the uncertainty reduction theory? This theory is focused on using communication to reduce the level of uncertainty between people engaging in the initial interaction. There are two types of uncertainty, cognitive and behavioral. The theory also based on assumptions that have been made related to the process of reducing the uncertainty in a relationship. We will explain more throughout the video about this assumption and tactics to reduce the, those uncertainty with the example shown in the movie. Kau baca buku ni? Udah mulih. In this scene shows assumption one in a certainly reduction theory, whereas it's about interpersonal settings and generates cognitive stress. In the story, Azlan may find it weird that Malik is mailing his book and asking multiple questions causing Azlan to have uncertainty about it. His expectation may have been negative and this may generate cognitive stress. But at the end, they became good friends. Tengok dah saya nama tu. Aku baru sampai ni. Kau tahu siapa buat? Aku baru sampai ni. Sheikh yang buat. Kau tahu siapa Sheikh? Aku baru sampai hari ni. When strangers meet, there are two primary goals involved that is they seek to reduce uncertainty and increase predictability. In this scene, we can see Malik asking multiple questions to Azlan to seek information to reduce uncertainty as they just met. Tok Lan lah. Lan mana? Lan mana lagi ya, Azlan lah. Dari siapa? Dari saya, Hana. Kenapa? Oh, bukan daripada Mahani untuk Todak? Tak, Mahani tak tulis lagi surat dia. Habis kenapa tak cakap? Cakap apa? Dah atas surat tu tulis besar-besar Azlan. Siapa lagi? Tak, aku salah. Aku tak baca. Aku tak baca. Memang salah aku. Mak dengan abang saya dah cerai. Bila? Semalam. Siapa yang bagi tahu? Mak. Kau nak kawan aku lagi? Sampai bila-bila. Tunggulah aku balik. Interpersonal communication is a process that occurs in stages and is a primary form to reduce uncertainty. In the entry stage, Azlan confronts Hana about the letter. In the personal phase, Azlan and Hana started to be more comfortable with one another. Hana also tells personal information about her parents' divorce to Azlan. In the exit phase, Azlan asks Hana if she still wants to be friends to make a decision to engage in the future or not. Here, Hana said yes, and Azlan asks her to wait. She then proceeds by saying she loves him. Hidup ni singkat lah ni. Kita kena buat apa kita nak selagi mampu. Hana jujur nak kenal dengan Lan. Asalkan kita tak melampaui batas, apa salahnya? Kan? A session 4 in uncertainty reduction theory that people share changes over time. Based on the story, the information that Hana shares and the intimacy of two of them is the higher as they have developed their relationship over time. Kau tahu kat mana? Aku baru sampai hari ni. Uh -uh. Tak apa, sekejap lagi aku tunjuk kat mana bilik kau eh. It is possible to predict people's behavior. In assumption 5, when Azlan first time with Malik at the corridor, he seems like feeling annoying and having high uncertainty towards Malik. But end up, they became a good friend. Tu nombor berapa tu? Uish. Oh. Tu lah nombor 2. Mimi kasut. This is an example of active strategy as someone engaged in an effort other than direct contact to get information about the person they want to interact with. In this scene, Azan asked Malik about Mimikasu.